Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, I mean over the top, beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization down here in the isolation chamber of Garfield, Texas on this beautiful Tuesday, <coughs> April 1st, uh, 2020. And uh, April Fool's Day here in the collapse. And my name is Sam Mitchell, and this is the Coronavirus Chronicles you have stumbled into today. And before I get into what would have been the uh, an April Fool's story a month ago. Just a couple of big thank yous here. I have two thank yous I think to send out. Let's see. Thank you Kevin Shantholzer. <coughs> Kevin, I can't remember what I, your YouTube name is, but I really appreciate the uh, the donation to my PayPal account and also a big thank you to Greg O'Shea for his uh, kind donation to my work here on YouTube and uh, I don't know how many people are aware of it and with the description I put in every video I do suggest a couple of ways you can uh, donate to the to the calls if you enjoy I guess enjoy is the word what I the <clears throat> what I bring to you here on this channel it would be really nice if every once in a while you could say thank you to the to the uh, tip jar but that pleasant task out of the way uh, so what I decided to do here on April Fools for the coronavirus chronicles uh, it, it's simply I was going to go on Yahoo News on the mainstream media this morning and read the very first story, the number one story on the planet uh, to, today on the mainstream media for a peek into the future of Mad Max about how the coronavirus uh, can be used as an example of how just both the the government, the government, the uh, the authorities, and just the general public are going to react to things like pandemics or whatever. And again, as I say, if this story had come out one month ago, I would have obviously assumed it was an April Fool's prank. Uh, this, uh, what is going on on this planet is one big April Fool's prank on the, uh, on the entire planet. Can't make this stuff up. Right out of here, Associated Press, number one story on the planet right now. <clears throat> U.S. Coast Guard says cruise ships must stay at sea with sick on board. Yes, <laughs> you know the, the the cruise ship industry. I have I have been uh, pointing out for years that it is the cruise ship industry. It, if you had to pick the number one industry, uh, that is the poster child of every single thing that is wrong with global industrial civilization. The single most indefensible industry on the planet. Every single thing about the cruise ship industry is uh, j just demonstrates how completely clueless and in denial the human race is. Uh, and certainly, I mean, everything about the cruise ship industry is bad for this planet and indicative of why humans need to go extinct. It, there is nowhere, I, I, I mean, I, I've really, can, can anybody, 
come up with, uh, with an industry more indefensible than the cruise ship industry, please cast your vote. Maybe I am missing something. So uh, the absolute karmic, uh, dark, absurdist irony of this story, uh, you know, if, if anybody deserves to get the coronavirus, it is the entire cruise ship industry. All right, <coughs> coming from the great state of Florida. <coughs> The U.S. Coast Guard has directed all cruise ships to prepare to treat any sick passengers and crew on board while being sequestered indefinitely offshore during the coronavirus pandemic. Yes, the new rules require daily updates on ships' coronavirus caseload for vessels inside U.S. waters and come with a stiff warning. Any foreign flagged vessels, quote, that loiter beyond U.S. territorial seas, close quote, should try first to medically evacuate the very sick to those countries instead. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Uh, many of South Florida's cruise ships are registered to the Bahamas, where hospital capacity is already limited, and people there are still recovering from last year's Hurricane Dorian. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, I'm sure registering your cruise ship in the Bahamas, you know, the, these multi-million dollar uh, corporations. I'm sure it's some sort of tax break they get. It's some sort of shenanigans to hide their profits so they don't have to pay taxes. And so now, okay, well you're registered in the Bahamas, so take uh, all of these hundreds and thousands of sick people back to their home country, the Bahamas. Oh yeah. <clears throat> The rules which apply to any vessel carrying more than 50 people were issued in a March 29th safety bulletin signed by Coast Guard Rear Admiral E.C. Jones. Uh, dozens of cruise ships are either lined up at Port Miami and Port Everglades or waiting offshore due to the coronavirus panic. Most, have, most ships have only crew aboard, but the Carnival Corporation, which owns nine cruise lines with a total of 105 cruise ships, <coughs> notify the Coast Guard that it has more than 6,000 passengers still at sea. So 6,000 uh, cruise ship passengers are being told to shelter in place on their cruise ships. Federal, state, and, a local, and local officials have been negotiating over whether two Holland America cruise ships, uh, the Zandam and the Rotterdam, would be allowed to dock at Port Everglades this week but more are on the way, including the Coral Princess carrying <coughs> what that ship's medical center called a higher than normal number of people with flu-like symptoms. <clears throat> Two, uh, well, so far four deaths on the Zandam were blamed on uh, the virus and nine people have tested positive, the company said. At least 190 more people have reported symptoms. More than 300 Americans are on the Zandam and the Rotterdam. Uh, so this is 300, more than 300 Americans not being allowed to uh, dock in their own country. 
uh, at, at, you know, is Florida. Uh, <coughs> I don't know, guys. Is, is this a case of Florida sealing its borders, or is this a case of America sealing its borders to Americans? Uh, any anybody who does not understand how when uh, more and more of these coronavirus uh, events, be it pandemics or climate change, refugees, as Mad Max begins to ramp up, uh, clearly uh, this is the, uh, is the number one sign uh, of, of what Mad Max is going to look like. It's going to be the keep out signs, the go back where you came from signs, you ain't welcome here signs. It is, it is from Facebook in New York uh, all the way to the Coast Guard in Florida. You know, I guess we're sending back more and more, obviously, people being turned away at the borders. So what does Florida Governor Rick DeSantis, what does he have to say about all this? Florida Governor Rick DeSantis said Tuesday, uh, what would that be? Uh, oh, today's Wednesday. Did I say it was Tuesday? I guess we're, I lose track here. I don't even know, guys. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? I honestly don't know if it is Tuesday or Wednesday today. Anyway, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said on Tuesday, I think that was yesterday, <clears throat> that his state's health care system is stretched too thin to take on the Zandam's coronavirus caseload. Quote, just to drop people off at the place where we are having the highest number of cases right now just does not make a whole lot of sense, DeSantis said. There you go. So what does President Donald Trump have to say about this? President Donald Trump said later that he would speak with his fellow Republican in Florida, quoting Trump, they're dying on the ship. <clears throat> I'm going to do what's right, not only for us, but for humanity. Uh, yeah, what's right, Donald Trump is doing what's right for humanity, so I don't know. Uh, what is right for humanity in this case? Uh, under normal conditions, you, <laughs> under normal conditions, this, this very term, normal conditions, uh, has gone completely out the window. This is April Fool's conditions have been declared on planet Earth. Under normal conditions, uh, when a passenger or crew member becomes too ill for a ship's medical team to care for, they call on the Coast Guard to provide a medical evacuation to an onshore hospital. Under the new, not normal, uh, conditions rules, sick passengers would be sequestered indefinitely on board the ship. <clears throat> For most people, the virus causes mild or moderate symptoms such as fever and cough <coughs> that clears up in two or three weeks. But for some, especially older adults and people with existing health problems, can you say the most likely people to be on cruise ships, it can cause more severe illness, including pneumonia and even death. Getting back to the Coast Guard memo to all of the old sick people with pre-existing conditions waiting to die today on those cruise ships, quote, this is necessary as shoreside medical facilities may reach full capacity and lose the ability to accept and effectively treat additional critically ill patients. A potential evacuee, 
meaning anyone who is getting sick with coronavirus on the cruise ship, a potential evacuee has better access to comfortable surroundings and the medical staff on board the foreign passenger vessel where care is already being provided, close quote. <clears throat> the document requires all ships in U.S. waters to report their numbers of sick and dead people on board each day or face civil penalties or criminal prosecution. <clears throat> the Coast Guard will decide if a, transfer, if a transfer of a sick or I guess dead person at this point is absolutely necessary but the cruise line would be responsible for arranging onshore transportation and hospital beds. There you go. So, uh, you know, I guess a cruise ship is a good a place as any to sit around and wait to die. Uh, you know, there's a hell of a lot worse places to be right now, I guess, with the coronavirus uh, than a cruise ship. But uh, anyway, I have got to, to wrap up today's coronavirus rant. Uh, I don't think there will be a Collapse Chronicles rant, meaning a non-coronavirus video today. For one thing, uh, I noticed that yesterday's non-coronavirus Collapse Chronicles rant was the single least viewed video I might have ever had on Collapse Chronicles uh, as nobody cares about anything other than the coronavirus. If, if you try to do a YouTube video uh, anymore not about the coronavirus, you are talking to yourself. And for the other reason, I simply cannot find one story on the mainstream media today, you know, talking uh, about the collapse of a planet. Well, there's a couple of climate change stories out there, I guess. Uh, but uh, other than a, a two or three climate change stories, that just, uh, you know, the same old saw, uh, pretty much the coronavirus is the only, the only story on the planet. So I guess I will get back to my self-isolation chamber, get out my gas-sucking lawnmower, and mow the grass on this absolutely beautiful day in the collapse. And... Uh, April, here we come. Enjoy what could be your last spring. Enjoy the spring of 2020 before summertime gets here. We can only imagine. Bye, guys. <clears throat>